Hello everyone. Welcome to this program in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As I promised before, I'm coming back again with a, a wisdom of Dr. Zakir Naik, Bible Contradiction. The wisdom of Dr. Zakir Naik and Bible Contradiction. This is the second one. We're going to continue uh, what uh, Dr. Zakir Naik is going to teach us. As you know, Dr. Zakir Naik is a famous doctor, Islamic doctor from uh, India, and he's uh, well known uh, you know, his prescription uh, of the best prescription medis medicine is uh, camel urine. Yes, 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 camel urine. He knows the Bible. He knows the Astra, uh, the Zoroastrian books. He knows uh, the uh, Buddha, the Buddhist book. Uh, he knows uh, the, the, the Quran, the Bible, and uh, everything. Everything is a famous one. So, uh, previously, we started... Um, to learn from him, uh, from uh, the Bible that uh, he found out, the Bible contradiction. That's amazing. We Christians never knew that, but he was able to uh, find out. But let's continue. Let's continue today with Dr. with the famous Dr. Zakir Naik, the wise doctor, Dr. Zakir Naik. Let's listen. How can the cause of light be created on the fourth day, later than the light which came into existence on the first day? It's unscientific. Further, the Bible says, Genesis chapter 1, Verse 9 to 13, earth was created on the third day. How can you have a night and day without the earth? The day depends upon the rotation of the earth. Without the earth created, how can you have a night and day? Well, uh, he found out a contradiction in the Bible, another contradiction. Wow, the Christianity is gone, and uh, Judaism is gone, and everything is gone. Now let's read from, let's find out. I, I never found, I never knew there was a contradiction. It's not verse 13. Verse 13 is even uh, 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 the, the third day, the third day. Uh, okay, uh, the third day, the, the end of the third day. Ah, uh, but let's go to 14. And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light ruled the day, and the lesser light ruled the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. Okay, now, my question is, is there anything between... Okay, let's go to 13. 13. And the evening and the morning were the third day. The evening and the morning were the third day. Okay? And can anybody find out from these verses that the earth which says the earth was created in the fourth day can anybody find out can anybody i mean this is this is the king james bible this is the king james bible i cannot find it i cannot find it let me go to the hebrew by yomer elohim yehi ma'orot barakia hashamayim it is what it says. It doesn't say any earth. It doesn't say any earth. No, it doesn't say. Can anybody find out that the earth was created in the fourth day? Can anybody show me? Or am I, am I really <laughs> mistaken? Can I not read these things? Can't I read? Or you guys cannot read? And uh, Dr. Zakir Naik has a special magic that he finds out which we cannot read. This is it. He said, the earth was created in the fourth day. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let me show you. Let me show you how this is, a, you know, a despicable liar he is. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, the God created the heaven and the earth. Where? Genesis 1, verse 1. Now, let me show you the, the, the Hebrew. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim, the heavens, the et ha'aret, the earth, the aret. I read you one verse down over there. There was no ha'aret. No, there is no. It doesn't say it was created in this day. So this is the the liar, the deceiver, and the despicable. Can't she really? Did did 
Uh, Dr. Zakir Naik uh, go to school, to English class? Did he learn English? I don't think so. He deceives. He deceives as his practice, as his, uh, as his prophet. A bunch of people, so called Christians, they came into him, even they didn't ask him. They didn't ask, they didn't, they just start sitting down and, and just, you know, enjoying his lecture. If a person reads the Bible, he should say, where is it? Dr. Zakir Naik, the Honorable Dr. Dr. Zakir Naik, where is it? No, nobody asked him. Because these are not really Christians. These are people who know, who know nothing about the Bible. What did he say? Let me see. Let's, let's, let's see. What did he say again? Further, further. The Bible says Genesis chapter 1, verse 9 to 13. Earth was created on the third day. How can you have a night and day without the earth? The day? <laughs> do, you, do you know this, you guys? Do you, do you know how decept, deceptive this man is? Wow, it is really, really amazing. Especially you Indian people. Please, please, please don't be deceived by this man. There is no error. He's talking about the light, the light, the light, the light. Okay, I showed you last time that uh, in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 3, and God said that there, there, let there be light, and there was light. Let me continue and uh, explain to you, because it is very, very interesting, and it's very amazing revelation. Chapter 1, verse 3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. Why capital letter? Do you know that? Do you know why? And he, the, the darkness he called night. Why capital letter? It shouldn't be like that. But the translators of King James Bible, they know that there are these this words, which is the light, the or, it has different uh, special meaning. We're going to see. Vayikra Elohim la or yom velahoshe kara laila. So this, this, this is like the, 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 the or itself is, it comes from the, the, the first one, the same, the, the, the verse three is a continuation. So the, the light, the day, the day, the day, the yom has different meaning if we study it. And it is found everywhere in the Bible. And previously I showed you that the, the meaning of Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 uh, is found in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 6. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in, this, in the face of Jesus Christ. This is the meaning of Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. The apostle Paul under the, 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 the guidance of the spirit under, you know, he was able to say these words. This is a commandment. The first, the first thing God commanded was the light to shine because the darkness was bad. But this light, what is this light? Jesus Christ. Before Christ Jesus. Before Jesus Christ. He's the Christ. He's our light. In the book of, uh, uh, John chapter one, we read, um, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Light. This is talking, this is the explanation of Genesis, a continuation, because the Bible is, as I said before, here are little and there are little. You have to compare and contrast and learn. You don't pick up one verse and then you say, Genesis, this, this, this. Yes, it doesn't make sense. But the one who knows, who, are, who is learned of God, understands what the Bible says. And the light shines in the darkness. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. If you want to have light in your soul, in your being, in your internal, in our being, you have to know Jesus Christ and you have to accept. Buddha will not give you the, this light. Muhammad will not give you this light. Allah will not give you this light. Nobody can give you. Who? Jesus alone. The son of the living God. In him was life. 
and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness. Remember the darkness over there in Genesis chapter 1, the first one. What? What did he say? And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the world, the Spirit of God, God Almighty. But this light shines in the heart of men and women and children. The true light is Jesus. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Or it can be translated, better be translated, resisted not. It resisted not the light, because once if Jesus comes into your heart, he enlightens everything. He takes away the darkness. The darkness has only one option to flee from Jesus, from the light. The darkness is the devil. The darkness of the devil. That, that was the true light which lights every man that comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. Yes, Muhammad did not know, know him. The Muslims did not know him. And atheists do not know him. The Buddhists do not know him. They don't have Jesus. They are in darkness. So I urge everybody to open the Bible and read and learn and have the light of life. So the darkness and light. He, he's a true light which lightens everyone. Now, let's continue. Let me show you. Because this light is not a simple thing. It's not one thing. Um, and and uh, let me, in one place. But it is everywhere everywhere now let's let's go to uh, genesis um, uh, john the gospel of john um uh, 319 and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil evil people wicked people they love their religion they love their leaders more than anything not the lord god almighty jesus christ he is a true light but there is a condemnation why? Because whosoever rejects the light will be rejected by God, and he will be thrown into hellfire with Muhammad and uh, uh, Allah and other evil spirits, evil power. Yes, Jesus, the Son of the Living God. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does truth comes to the light that his deeds may be manifest, that they are, they are wrought in God, yet they are done in God. So this is the light. Who is this light? Who is this light? This light is none but Jesus, the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ. John 8.12. I'm going to take you John 8.12. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. The light of life. Jesus is not religion. Believing in Jesus is not religion. It is an enlightenment. It is a transformation. It is a total conversion. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. He escaped the darkness because Jesus Christ is a true light. He is the day. We are his children. When Genesis says, oh, day and night, it's not like the... the now, uh, by the way, our sister uh, has been attacked today, uh, Hatun Tash, and uh, sisters and brothers, please pray for her, pray for her. Islam is, you know, all the time. It's in, the, in London, in London, in London. She was attacked in London. Yes, Islam, wherever Islam goes, that's, that's what we can see. That's what it happens. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Um, uh, some part of the Bible, which I was going to, to uh, Thessalonians, uh, chapter, uh, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse uh, 5. This is uh, uh, another part which I want to show you. You, you, ye are all the children of light. You see? We are the children, ye are the children of light. And the children of the day. Oh, that's why they made it capital in Genesis 1-1. One, one. It is children of God, day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Christians are, true Christians are the children of the day. There is no darkness. For God is light. In Him there is no darkness. That's what the Bible says. For God is light. He lightens our, enlightens our heart, transforms our soul, and gives us hope, and everlasting hope, joy, and, uh, you know, un 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 unspeakable joy. Because when we are 
the children of God, God take care of everything regarding us. Because God is great. But this despicable liar, he says something which is not uh, there. But let's go to the, 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 to the, the Quran. 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 Al-Anbiya. Surah Al-Anbiya. And he is the one who created the day and the night. The sun and the moon. Oh. Ayah 33. Ayah 33. Verse 33. Where he says, And he is the one who created the day and the night. The sun and the moon. Okay, day and night? How come there was, there was a day and night and, the, and there was no sun? Sun and moon came after the day and the night. Did this doctor, Dr. Zakir Naik, did he read it? No, I don't think so. He read the Bible. I mean, he doesn't read. He just rambles and says things which are not true. Totally untrue. False. Now, again, I'm going to take you there because I, I did this yesterday, but I'll continue exposing the lie. Abu Hurara reported, this is ha Sahih Muslim, Hadith Collection. Sahih Muslim, this is Sahih. That is trustworthy. It's the second to the Quran. Book 52, Hadith 10, Hadith number 2789. What it says, I'm going to read the, the, the English one. Uh, you can read it if you know the Arabic. Abu Hurara reported that Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, took hold of my hands and said, Allah the Exalted and the Glorious created the clay on Saturday, and He created the mountains on Sunday, and He created the trees on Monday, and He created the things in telling labor on Tuesday, and He created the light on Wednesday. The light on Wednesday? So Allah was in darkness from Monday until Wednesday? What was He doing? Allah, He doesn't have light. Allah is not light. God is light, but Allah is not light. What was he doing? Poor thing, poor thing. So this is a contradiction. He cannot see his book. He cannot read his book. But he says a lot of things which is totally false against the word of God. God the Almighty. We never, we will never stop, ex, you know, um, uh, showing to everyone the lies and the deceptions of this religion and those, those, those followers like Dr. Zakir Naik. He's an ignorant. He knows nothing. And he caused the animals to spread on Thursday. He caused animals to spread on Thursday? What does it mean? He caused them to move or what? And he created Adam. Peace be upon him after Asar on Friday. Oh, okay. after the prayer, <laughs> Friday he created Adam. The last creation at the last hour of the uh, Friday, Adam. This is, this is a book of Dr. Zakir Naik, the lie and the deception of Allah. But the God of Israel is great, and the Bible is exceptionally beautiful, amazing book. It's a book of life. It's a book of transformation. It transforms. It gives you life. It gives. It transforms your inner being. It gives you in, inner, internal peace, eternal peace, joy, unspeakable. It's a guidance from the Lord God Almighty. But this babbler, they continue to babble. We'll continue exposing the lies and the deceptions of Allah and His people. Thank you for watching and uh, listening. May the Lord richly bless you. Until we meet again, bye. Bye-bye.